What does the script say, Dad? One sec, one sec. Why hello and welcome to Cooked Units, the half-baked cooking show where we all up our guests and roast our host. Yeah. That's it. That's it? Yeah. Welcome to Cooked Units, the half-baked cooking show where we all up our guests and roast our host. Ingredients, the half baked cooking show where we all up our guests and roast our host. And this is the and this is the first line that we got. We're getting out there any other lines? I didn't know we'd be shooting this now. Huh? It's a shoot, Fuck, mate. at the end of the day. Okay, hold on. Maybe maybe it's even better. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. We'll do it live. Fuck it! Welcome to Cook Units, the half-baked cooking show where the host gets roast and everybody fucking tastes the most. Oh my god, that's the fucking thing that we've been looking for, Thank you for being here, appreciate it. Always good to meet a fan. Bring it in, boys, bring it in. This week on Cooked Units, Jordan Shanks Markovina, political commentator, YouTube comment creator. Yep. Uh, what else am I missing, man? Viewer warning, but you have been warned. Yeah. Go to the wall of it. Oh, f what code are we watching? You had anything to drink today, mate? No. Okay, you're four times over the limit. Oh. Am I? Australia, I live here and I still can't figure out if we're the worst people on earth or the best. Uh, Korean X model, extraordinary Adonis. Yeah, yeah. It's like you've known me my whole life, that's it. <laughs> I miss her. Hi, Mum. The anti bandits. <laughs> Three judges, two contestants. One meal wins. Jordan, what are you cooking? I'm cooking bibimbap. It's a Korean dish. Excellent. Yeah. Misla. I'm cooking my grandma's spaghetti sauce. Delicious. We'll see, we'll see. Jordan? I will be using the ancient Korean traditional dish of McCain's frozen winter vegetables. And uh, that, what's that Croatian stuff called? We're supposed Vegeta. to be enemies, but yeah. Yeah, Vegeta. Vegeta. yeah. And that's easy. Oh yeah, and soy sauce if you have it. Miss Love? I've got the uh, ancient Italian ingredients of Aldi tin tomatoes, Aldi onions, Aldi spaghetti, and some bits and pieces that I hope you have as well. But I think you do. Salt, you know, a couple of secrets maybe. No, no, they don't have that. No. Uh, well, then I'll just forfeit, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> right, I get forfeit. You win. Anyway. <laughs> Let's <Okay. the> begin. <laughs> okay. And we're cooking. Yo. Get into it. Get your fucking... You're get going. your engines rolling. Damn. Get your motherfucking engines rolling. All right. The Italians say that your, the water for your pasta should be as salty as the ocean. Anyone Ooh, playing yeah. home, so. How's your favorite Italian? Who's? Mr. Barilaro. Oh, the Jordan. Oh, you can, uh... I have news that I'm not allowed to disclose. Oh, really? We shouldn't have even said that. <sighs> okay, you ready for this? You ready? The Deputy Premier of New South Wales, John Barilaro, bruz himself, 
has threatened to sue. And so I had to like uh, live in an undisclosed place for a while. Really? Do you worry about that? No. All right, like I've got the same point yeah. as Alex Jones of being like, I, I don't know, like if I get killed doing it, it'd be exciting. So uh, yeah. just, I've been doing I my job. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's what people. Yeah. I've never met anyone. I don't more think that'd be a much better death than being in your deathbed for like seven years, being like, mm, come closer, my granddaughter. You are my favourite. <laughs> don't you think? Just no, nice... I don't think that. I want the granddaughter one. Why? Because you like everything in slow motion, don't you? Even your death. These are going in the pan, by the way. Uh, no need to chop them up more. You know, this is all very relaxed. What's your plan to deal with him? Why don't you just act like every other politician and ignore me? Yeah. Don't you think? It's just, it's such a stupid move to, like, get articles written, cry. You're turning this into a YouTube beef, but you're the deputy premier of a state. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> How immature is that? Like, don't you think? Like, it's, it's really... It's like, like I'm a pig in mud, right? Like it doesn't matter if my name's stupid or not because that's the whole point of it. But for that man with that title to just get into a mud pit with a pig and be like, yeah, I'm kicking his ass, even if he wins. Look at me fucking beat that shit out of Johnny's, boys. <laughs> ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. Just with his, with his fucking Penrith Griffith mates. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point, yeah. His camera, it's yeah. like, it's very unbecoming. <laughs> it's very mean. What's going on? What's going on, boys? Talk, talk us through it. Talk us through it. You go That's first. boiling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Show, show, show the camera these onions. You can you go for it. Don't all, you chop them up, me. It's all about low and lazy. Now, oh, if all, if, by the way, for all of you playing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get a, let's get a, let's get a oh, zoom, on oh. it, zoom in on this. <laughs> salt. Salt. <laughs> Uh, the hidden, the hidden ingredient. The Italians. The, <laughs> the uh, you don't need to zoom. It's fine. I'll just tell you. Uh, yeah. Are we still rolling? Huh? I'm gonna keep going. Oh, yeah. Sorry. My bad. What's that vapor? Still rolling, Senor Spielbergo. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. How did it turn out? I egregiously. Oh, this one thanks, man. Thanks, 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 thanks. Oh, yeah. I egregiously misjudged yeah. how long this was going to go for. No, it's fine. Oh, it's 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 the end of the day. It's a show. You're a facilitator, right? <laughs> like, you're the facilitator, yeah. and they're the stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because you're not the star yet. No one cares about you. Oh, you got to go. No, oh, I'll okay. Hey, Joe, man. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Oh, look, it's not good. Thanks so much. <laughs> Fucking sweating, boys. I'm just gonna hang out with my mates. Fuck, there's a little bit of static going on in here without me, eh? You need me, eh? Is that how you feel about yeah, it, you eh? You keep the show going, I'll this say that. This is my... <laughs> and we're back. Skits. Skits. Skits, boys. When you're coming up with a skit, how's it go? You know what the secret to skits are? It's like a nice pasta. You uh, don't overdo it. I'll feel the pasta questions. No, I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> you what? Are you about to hit the blender? It's loading. It's loading. So it's, 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 I'll wait, I'll wait. Jesus. It just needs, <laughs> I swear. Skynet. <laughs> go on, go on. Um, yeah, I would say that the key to a good skit is basically do you remember a character from your past that makes you laugh? Write exactly what they said. Is that how your mouths came about? Mm hmm Specifically? Have and you contacted dude, I, the I'm real you? Have you contacted no. the... Yeah, yeah. W would you? Everybody's trying to get by. Trying to figure out what to do with their lives. But the Turks aren't concerned. And you stitches have to learn. That the Turks are only concerned with one thing. Six, six, money, money, power. Six, six, money, money, power. Hell I don't man. want to meet that man ever again in my life. I, I would like to... Have you seen if, I could, if I was good enough at CCT footage, I'd like to be like that guy in the Truman Show that just sits there with the little cap on and watch him. <laughs> but I don't want to ever meet him personally. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> because... 
He beat the shit out of me, and rightfully so. You just remember your dealing with brass. One phone call, 50 lebs on your doorstep. You must, you told us like two days ago you were Turkish. Or oh, whatever, man, it's the same shit. You must. I made Correct. tens of thousands of dollars putting dumb shit he said in maths on shirts. Yeah, he deserves a cut, but nah. <laughs> yeah, but he's not getting it. When you're making a skit, just, just think about what the character would actually say. I'm really dropping some Geordie's dimes here. Don't try and ham it up. Shoot it down the fucking back. Don't try and ham up skit. Just write what the character that made you laugh in real life would say in a situation and make the situation normal. Just make them watching TV, going to the shops, whatever. I think that that's where good humour comes from. Yeah. I just like, don't, like, don't. like old Greek guys that walk up to you and like, you want the lemon? I love these ones. No, Mrs. Giannopoulos. Enjoy. I can buy my own biscuits from Coles. You family. If you're like doing a skit that you're gonna record for YouTube, yeah. how do you approach it differently to how you're gonna do a joke when you're doing your stand-up show? When I'm doing the skit, I see, this is what we'll do. Either I'll write the basis or Miss will write the basis and then we go back and we look at it and we think how realistic is this and it's pretty much just put that character in that situation, how would they realistically react to it, that's the end of the skit. It's quick. When you're doing stand-up, because it's boring policy that you're supposed to be bringing to life, yeah. you go, fact, joke, fact, joke. Sick. As Brian Tracy says, the wind wiper technique. Information joke, information joke. <laughs> and that's how it works, until you've got an hour. Okay, I'm gonna take a piss. You want me to open it? How are you going? Uh, honest assessment, how do you think the, the day's gone so far? Um, I feel like it's gone well. In that there was no real idea in the first place, and it's come together. Jordan's been great, Miss Love's been great, Crew's been great. I don't know how well I've done, but uh. <laughs> This is what I was. Wait, all these hugs is actually what I've been thinking about the whole whole time. I've been like, no, dude, it was really good. It was good. It was fun. And like, hopefully, this is a big <coughs> beginning of a long, fruitful series. the food. <laughs> and, okay, ready? Let's you want more energy? Safety with more energy? Yeah. Now, it's, now it's cooked and so are we. Let's go to the judges <laughs> and we'll see who wins. That's cooked cool. units. <laughs> Fuck off, Declan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now it's cooked and so are we. Let's take it to the judges and then we'll see who wins cooked units. Who wins cooked units. Who wins cooked units? Cooked units. Cooked units. Let's take it to the judges. Let's take it to the judges.
Thanks a lot. said and done, my friends, <laughs> the dog decided, and you're a loser. Yeah. You lost. <laughs> yep, I did. Who would have thought a dog would like pasta more than fucking Korean vegetables? And cheese. Mm. I made the exact opposite of what a dog should eat. Vegetables and chili. Of course <laughs> he's not going to eat that. And then you made what is essentially dog, dog food. food. You dog made dog food. food. Made dog food. Look, it, I didn't plan it, but it worked out in the end. What can I tell you, man? So what is life for someone who constantly broadcasts themselves and their opinions as often as you do? What's it like? Dude, I'll give you this. It's a very lonely life. Oh. And it's just very lucky that I was a single <laughs> child that spent a lot of time playing with Lego. <laughs> <laughs> By yourself? I don't think I would have, huh? By yourself? I, I played in a room, uh, just just imagining everyone doing things, and I think that that was very good practice for the job that I have now. The reason I'm able to say the things that I say is because there's very few people in my life that I care about upsetting. And I think that that's what happens. If you're going to be a political commentator, you have to understand that it's going to be a very insular life, because you have to be honest about what you think about things. And you just have to understand that 70% of the population is going to, if you're lucky, detest what you're going to say. How does it affect you when people... It doesn't. No, I will say this. I think that I was prepped for that life. Really? I think that it was exactly what I should be doing and I see it all the time with lesser people that try and try to do the same thing that I do on YouTube and they get one negative comment they're like, I'm not uploading another video ever again. <laughs> but I'm just like, bring the fire. You know, like I, I, I like the cut and thrust. I had a very argumentative, isolating childhood. And I think that that was very, very good for the uh, profession that I endeavored upon. Doesn't that make you feel lonely though? But the thing is, I think that I was just used to the life of being extremely lonely and isolated. So As a child? Yeah. To me, I, and I think I'm just one of those people that's just uh, an introvert. Like, I don't get energy from being around people. It drains me. I think that what it does is it forces you to deep dive. And Miss, you will know this because you have the job at Friendly Geordies Inc. of just cool. coming up with all of the cotton candy fodder to just keep the machine going. But pretty much all I do now is I just deep dive into one subject for a month and nobody hears what I am and I'm just the phantom <laughs> of the opera in my room and then I come out and then I've got a script. The, the, the aim of the <coughs> Friendly Geordies Inc. at the end of the day is to educate the public about what government actually is because everybody needs to understand that they have been indoctrinated to a propaganda model that they don't understand exists and I didn't understand that it existed. Everybody thinks that they came to the conclusions that they have about the world by themselves. It's not true. They came to those conclusions from the background that they grew up in. That's definitely very true but the other thing is that there is an overarching media narrative that is pushed every single election that tilts people to voting towards something. But what you don't understand is they're much smarter than us. Did yeah. you know that? They have 60 years of experience of exploiting the public's opinion and they started off with someone who's much better at that than they are. Blown minds lie. How do you administer like the information that's need needed to be heard? That's the thing. I'm just one man You're versus just one an person. entire machine that is 
very, very instilled in the public and has a complete monopoly on all information that the Australian public sees. And so all I can say is just being like, that point's not true, that point's not true. And like some cunts in university will watch it. And like some boomers that watch it and be like, I've been thinking this for 40 years. Everything that you say and everything that you do, all the things, all the points that you make, they're kind of just served up in a way that's like, yeah, I'm trying to make it like, I'm talking about these like people from like, How do you think that what you're saying is gonna like continue on in a way that anybody will listen? I, I am just trying to say to as many people as possible, this, this is my entire point. Whatever special minority party you think you identify with that is just catered specifically to you, the difference between Liberal and Labor is Labor is an actual government. The Liberal Party is not a government. The Liberal Party just sits there and gives whatever the billionaires want hand in fist. And everything that they do after that is just PR. It's just public management of, yeah, we're working for you. We're giving you $750 a week. Whose idea was that? Anthony Albanese's. Gets no credit for it. Scott Morrison gets all of it. He'll just trot into the next election. There's no way Albo's gonna win the next one. You cool with that? No. No, no I'm not cool with that. <laughs> But, you know, I understand it. I understand it. That's what I'm saying. Am I, am I. I, think, I think just to be understood is amazing in this day and age. And to have an audience, like a sizable audience, is, like, incredible. Props to Jordan in terms of the, uh, the variety of um, content. Because it's like, he's the one that sort of figured out to be, like, the sort of social political stuff. And then there's the, like, really serious political stuff that'll actually, you know, could potentially shape society and change society. That, that with the, the live show. What do you prefer? Hey. Politics or the funny shit? Well, I prefer the funny shit. Yeah. That's way better. It's so much easier, and you, right? Like, you know that when you just release it, it's just gonna be like, yeah, it's gonna be a nice 100,000. Everyone's gonna be like, oh, yeah, I do have a Greek neighbor like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But every time you ever put out something political, you know that you're gonna piss off some section that's just gonna start some Twitter campaign against you. It's just part of the territory, I feel like. It's like, you know what I mean? I feel like, anyway. But I'm I gotta say, you. no, it's very good having you there, though. <laughs> it really helps. <laughs> Because you just realise you're not insane. Right. You know? Oi. You sit Oi. there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get in for that. Yeah. It's like a live therapy yeah. session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, uh, yeah. I mean, it's nice to hear. Hey, it was a good uh, good match, though. It was a good, it was a good match. Um, uh, may I just say, the better man won. You well, made SPC Team Spaghetti, <laughs> and who'd have guessed dogs like that? Yeah, but I made it by hand. That's the difference. Yeah. yeah. You made dog food. Um, I did, I did. Well, who, who was the smarter one out of, out of, you know, out of the two of us? Definitely you, but hey, was it just like Nonna used to make? It was like Nonna used to make, man. Yeah, it was. It, it, look, my, my grandma's not like an amazing cook. <laughs> I mean, uh, one man's uh, trash yeah? is another man's you like uh, treasure. Treasure. Yes, that was very insightful, Gabe. Thank you for being the host. I, that... <laughs> I see bright <laughs> things in your future, my friend. Boys, like, let's just not like put it on to me at this stage. Hey? There's not that much difference between you being hammered and you being sober. Really? Yeah, dude. I don't think you need it. Like, it was inside you. Oh, the whole time. Long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a future for cooked gyms. I mean, it doesn't like seem like it will, but you know, we had a crack. Fucking did it, man. The film cook units. Be proud of yourself. Just let me lie here, man. <laughs>
I mean, a lot. That's all I want, man. So thanks to all of you cooking at home. See you next time on Cooked Units. Yeah. Ready? Camera on. And action. And thanks to all of you cooking at home on Cooked Units. <laughs> Uh, go again, just remember to see you next time on Cook Junior. See you next time. Yeah. So thanks to all of you cooking at home. So say that after me. Thanks to all of you cooking next time. Thanks to all of you cooking at home. Thanks to all of you cooking. Oh home. fuck dude. Please. <laughs> Four things. No thanks to all of you cooking at home. See you next time on Cook Junior. Rose, give it to me. Give it to me. Thanks to all of you cooking at home. See you next time on Cook Junior. Yeah. Thanks to all of you cooking next time. Say it again. Thanks to all of you cooking at home. See you next time on Cook Unit. Okay. Yeah. Go. Thanks to all of you at home cooking next time. A little bit gay. Yeah. 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 On cooked units. And action. And thanks to everyone. Good night and Merry Christmas.